हाई एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सागर साहू एंड वेलकम टू भेट सर्जरी टीच टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टेजेस ऑफ अनासिया ओके इन अनासोसियोलॉजी बुक यू मे फाइंड ए चैप्टर स्टेजेस ऑफ अनास इट्स ए वेरी बिग चैप्टर वी विल ट्राई टू कंसाइज ऑल दी पॉइंट्स सो दैट यू कैन रिमेम्बर इट बेटर ओके यू डोंट नीड टू मॉग इट अप यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द फिजियोलॉजी व्हाट इज द थिंग सो दैट यू कैन मेक योर ओन सेंटेंस एंड यू कैन टेल इन द यू कैन राइट इन द एग्जामिनेशन व्हाट दिस स्टेजेस आर ओके सो स्टेजेस ऑफ अनासिया आज हैज फोर स्टेजेस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ लेवल ऑफ सी एन एस डिप्रेशन ओके so now coming to the stage 1 the stage 1 is also known as stage of voluntary movement okay so the stage ranges from when you give the anesthetic injection to the loss of consciousness okay so in this stage the animal will be under stress because the animal will be completely alert and you will be moving towards the animal to give the injections you will be restraining the animal so the nervous animal or the furious animal you have to restrain them when you will go to near them you will find stress when there will be stress the adrenal gland will be activated the adrenal gland will secrete the hormone epinephrine you know the epinephrine is uh, secreted when there is fear or uh, the fright flight or fight you know 3f gland adrenal gland is also known as 3f gland okay when there will be secretion of epinephrine you will find tachypnea that is faster respiration sometimes you may find breath holding when you are frightened suppose in the night there is a lonely road and you are moving and you saw something which you should not see like a ghost you will find the breath holding respiration then you will find increase in heart rate tachycardia your heart rate will become very very fast sometimes in some humans also they defecate and urinate so you will find defecation and urine urination okay and also your pupil some in humans you may find the dilation of pupil when you get frightened also in animals you will find pupillary dilation so these are all effects of epinephrine you know it you just need to tell it first there will be tachypnea increase in respiration then tachycardia increase in heart rate defecation and urination due to frighten the anal sphincters get relaxed then pupil and pupillary dilation okay these are all the effects of epinephrine and when this stage progresses towards its end or progresses towards stage 2 you will find ataxia that means in coordination in gait ataxia then the animal will become recumbent lateral recumbency usually okay so here this stage 2 begins the stage 2 stage 2 is also known as stage of involuntary movement okay this stage uh, is also known as stage of delirium these names are being asked by your examination in bye bye exams this stage range from loss of consciousness to regular pattern of breathing okay when we, you know here will be tachypnea i already told you so from tachypnea the animal will go for regular pattern of breathing the normal breathing here the animal will be unconscious 
at the end of stage 1 the animal will be unconscious but they will respond to stimulus if you will try to touch them or you will call them by their names they may struggle sometimes they will be violent struggle so when after giving anesthetics usually the doctor tells the owners do not disturb your patient or do not go near to your patient so you have to apply the dnd do not disturb usually in uh, big hospitals you will find a anesthetic room in that room all the external stimuli are avoided okay it is basically semi dark room or dark room where the animal will be kept and he or she might not be exposed to any kind of stimulus in this the effects of epinephrine still persist so that you will find all the effects like tachypnea okay tachycardia the pupillary dilation okay already there is a defecation and urination but you won't find in stage defecation and urination okay the effect of epinephrine still persist and some species difference you may find vomiting in case of dog and cat in stage 2 you may find vomiting you might have seen this anesthesia in our college also in our college use gelatin and ketamine anesthesia you will find vomiting this is stage 2 now nystagmus nystagmus is involuntary movement of eyeball like this okay this is known as nystagmus nystagmus this is found in case of horses this short question is asked many a times by external examinations and also you will find this short question in your mcqs salivation is present in case of cats and ruminants okay so uh, then at the end of stage 2 you will find regular breathing usually in stage 1 and stage 2 the breathing pattern is thoraco abdominal okay it means both thoracic muscles and abdominal muscles are they, uh, involved in respiration thoraco abdominal and another thing you remember the eyeball position in stage 1 and stage 2 the eyeball position is variable it may be medial side or lateral side dorsal bend whatever it is variable the term is variable now at the end of stage 2 we will find regularization of breathing pattern here comes stage 3 stage 3 is also known as stage of surgical anesthesia in this stage all the surgeries are being performed in this stage you will find depression of all type of reflexes i will talk about reflexes and i will tell a shortcut to remember them also okay so all the reflexes will be depressed and remember this stage has been divided into three planes the light plane the medium plane and the deep plane in human anesthesiology it has been divided into four planes plane one plane two plane three plane four the plane and plane two and plane three are division of this medium plane in veterinary you use light medium light plane medium plane and deep plane the medium plane is known as plane of surgical anesthesia okay here plane 2 is known as light surgical plane plane 3 known as deep surgical plane if someone ask you asks about the which plane is known as surgical plane you can tell medium if he or she wants to know well, you have to answer in numericals you can say it is 2 and 3 2 is light surgical plane 3 is deep surgical plane okay now so these three are planes in this i already told you 
all the reflexes will be diminished or absent usually in the light plane you will find diminished reflex if i will give a plus rating to all the reflexes in stage 1 and 2 we find all the reflexes are normal or may found very uh, in a degree force plus or 3 plus like that but in case of the light plane you may find single plus they will be very very diminished and stage uh, the medium plane and the deep plane you find you will the reflexes will be absent okay and the next the pupil position pupil posi position in case of medium and deep plane you will find central well pupil will become uh, the eyeball sorry i am sorry the eyeball position will be central and the pupil will be normal i already told you pupil will be dilated in stage 1 stage 2 because of the effect of epinephrine and in case of stage 3 you will find a normal pupil or it may be constricted okay and another objective type question usually asked by the external examiner in case of dog and cat the eyeball position is ventromedial okay remember this one many a times they ask also many a times you will check for this one the ventromedial position of eyeball so this is all about the stage 3 next stage 4 so in stage 4 everything ceases there will be cessation of respiration there will be potential hypotension okay blood pressure will be very very low it may enter into the shock level the respiration starts to cease the heart rate is minimal sometimes the siege also so if you see animal entering into this stage corrective measures or emergency care need to be started or emergency protocol needs to be started i already told about the emergency and critical care there is a video in the principle of surgery series you can check on that so emergency protocol should be started if there won't be any starting of any emergency protocol the animal will die okay so this is all about stages now i hope you understood uh, all the stages how they develop and how they progress so you should be able to write something in your paper now the reflexes how to remember them all the reflexes you see first first you will find the jaw it is also known as jaw tone or jaw reflex okay when you will try to separate the jaw the tone is known as jaw tone if the animal tries to bite it is jaw reflex they are usually same okay. next after jaw what comes the oropharynx the oropharyngeal reflex oropharyngeal Okay, when you will try to touch the oropharynx, the buccal cavity or the pharynx, the animal will, the response is known as oropharyngeal reflex. After oropharynx comes the larynx. This is known as laryngeal reflex. Okay, oropharynx then larynx. Next comes the trachea. Okay, that when you will introduce something into trachea, usually you will cough okay uh, sometimes you will find something entering uh, entering into trachea you will cough it out this is known as cough reflex okay these are a group you can remember in this pattern next comes the ocular reflexes first one you will uh, 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 switch on your torch and you will point it towards the eye 
this is known as photomotor reflex okay when you will point your torch or uh, to eye usually the pupil will constrict okay because too much of light the pupil will constrict to reduce the inflow of light that is known as photomotor reflex next after that what comes from uh, when you will move towards side first is palpebra then the palpebral reflex when you will touch the palpebra you will find palpebral reflex next comes after palpebra corneal reflex next you will touch the corneum the corneal reflex when you will touch the cornea the animal will try to close the eye that is known as corneal reflex these three are a group okay now only one remaining which is important that is pedal reflex what is pedal reflex when you will pinch between the fingers or between the digit the animal will try to move its limb move his or her limb that is known as pedal reflex and all the reflexes are present in stage 1 and stage 2 okay in stage 3 in the light plane they will be diminished or minimally present and from the medium then deep then stage 4 all of the reflexes will be absent okay you understood all the reflexes first the jaw then comes the oropharynx then comes the larynx then cough that is trachea when something enters into the respiratory tract these are a group you can remember in a group next you will torch you will point your torch to eye that is photomotor then comes the palpebra we will move towards eye first comes the palpebra the palpebral reflex next after palpebra comes the cornea the corneal reflex and the another one last one is the pedal reflex when you will pinch between the digits the skin of uh, between the digits the animal will try to move the limb this is known as pedal reflex so you remember all the reflexes okay and one more thing all the these reflexes the jaw tone oropharyngeal laryngeal and cough they are essential for endotracheal intubation okay they need to be absent for endotracheal intubation all these reflexes are important reflexes apart from that there are many reflexes or many parameters to be checked so you need to remember all these important reflexes apart from that some parameters you have to remember first the cardiac parameters in case of cardiac parameters you have to check for pulse or heart rate you can say cardiac or circulatory parameters pulse or heart rate then you have to check the crt the capillary refill time then you have to check mucous membrane mm mucous membrane next comes the respiratory parameter in case of respiratory parameters you have to res uh, measure the respiration rate the respiration pattern okay these two are very important in case of respiration these you see cardio pulmonary system is the most important system in case of anesthesia okay you have to continuously check 
about the cardio pulmonary systems and these parameters are important parameters apart from that these reflexes are also important you see uh, i must tell you about something crt is usually one second or less but when it approaches to stage four it may be three second or more okay mucous membrane is usually pink in case of stage four you may find cyanotic Okay, respiration pattern in stage 1 and 2, I already told it is thoracoabdominal. In stage 3, it becomes abdominal. Abdominal. In stage 4, it ceases to exist. Respiration rate, usually you will find stay in stage 1 and stage 2 under the effect of epinephrine, tachypnoia. Then, you will find normal respiration or bradic apnea in stage 3. In stage 4, it is suggest to exist. Regarding heart rate, in case of stage 1 and stage 2, under the effect of epinephrine, you will find tachypnea. In stage 3 and 4, in stage 3, you will find progressive, I am sorry, this is tachycardia. In case of stage Three will find progressive bradycardia. Okay, in stage four you will find diminished heart rate, minimal heart rate. Sometimes they cease to exist. So these are all parameters and reflexes you need to check. You have to make a sheet. Under uh, in that sheet you have to check this after five minutes or ten minutes, whatever your protocol is. So this is all about. The stages of anesthesia, I hope you understood what stages of anesthesia is, how the physiology changes and what are the reflexes you need to remember. So this is all about today's class and you can follow me in Facebook at bed surgery at ease. Okay, here I post the uh, cases, uh, mostly the pictures of cases which steps and this is my Instagram handle for quizzes quizzes and the notes in different subjects this is my twitter handle so this is all about today please like share and subscribe bye bye